Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading. This is going to be for the week of the 7th going to the 13th of August. Um, so we're going to jump straight into it and see. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Spirit was ready for you guys. Um, if you have not already, make sure you subscribe. Don't be a stranger around here, Aquarius, alright? We want to see you more often. Let's, let's see what's going on for you guys. For Aquarius, please. And also let me know what you think about my setup. I'm asking everybody, but just because I love it. And I got my little lion up here that my niece made for me, the cutie pie. She's incredible and very talented at everything. She's got the Midas touch, you know, <laughs> she just does. All right. Oh, I want to get you a keyword. All right, well, if you're going through a bit of chaos now, Aquarius, don't you worry. Things will get better as, as always. They always do. Things change. Um, but it just feels like you're on a road of self-discovery at the moment. Whatever is happening around you, there is a reason behind it. And, of course, that's very annoying to say or to hear at times. Um, but, yeah, it's kind of leading you leading you to... Oh, there's a, there's a phrase for this that just popped in my mind, but I don't know what it... I can't remember the words of it. But it's like you're about to you're about to go down a road that's basically not many people go down practically like you're doing something different with your life and that's why things can be very difficult because you're trying to pave your own way some of you did not have some of you just don't have guidance in your life and that could be really hard like i'm, I'm kind of feeling like you feel like you're, you're facing a lot of mistakes or rejection or like things could go wrong or like you're at a point where you feel like that. Like I'm speaking to somebody here who didn't really have very good parents or, or parents who didn't really guide you properly. That's what it feels like. Or at least you just feel very independent. Like maybe you just haven't had parents around. Or you just never really had that figure in your life. Anyways, moving away from that. Let's, let's see the overall energy for you guys. We'll dive into it. Don't you worry. For Aquarius. So there is success, prosperity, we love it, abundance. So don't worry, that message is a message of the past. It's something that's clearing out, um, which is good. I do believe you're going to reach a milestone around this week. So whether, I don't know, some of you might be celebrating somebody's birthday, um, somebody's wedding. I don't know. There is a celebration coming up this week. Or maybe it's yours. Um, I feel like some of you might be launching something or uh, you're being pushed towards creating your own content, creating your own career and i'm tasting cherries not the fruit maybe like a perfume i don't know anyways coming up right let's try and, and zone into this for you guys so i don't look crazy and erratic but you do have some level of of success coming through now four of wands is is usually a card of engagement you know the coming together of, of two people um, this also represents like 11, 11, reaching a goal, reaching that milestone in your life and having s celebrations around it. So expect some sort of party or expect you should throw a party if you're celebrating something. That's all I'm saying. Don't go unnoticed with your successes and, and achieving your goals. I feel like a message for you, Aquarius, this week is to celebrate the small things. Even if it's not the big things that you want, it's worth celebrating. Romanticize your life. All right, let's see what this chaos and conflict card is about. So it was the first one that wanted to come up. Walking away from things that don't serve you. All right, we have the chaos and conflict card, as you can see. Now, I always say this card has a number three and three here. So threes, for me anyways, represent kind of aligning yourself to something that you desire. So in order to get something that you want, maybe you're having to let go of things that you don't need or things that are uh, impacting you negatively emotionally, things that might be bringing you down, certain people who might be a bit of like an energy vampire or ways of being that are actually draining your own energy, maybe the routines that you have that are draining your energy, you know, you're needing to focus a bit more on, um, I think you're already going through this though. Chaos and conflict can actually mean chaos and conflict could have a lot of that going on around you. But as you can see here, whatever the chaos and conflict is, it's kind of removing this outer layer that you have and it's helping you to actually discover your own true colors. Um, so that's that's good. You're, you're having a sense of self-discovery at this time. Some of you may go on like some sort of like trip. You know, you might end up discovering yourself somewhere else, somewhere overseas, or in a different location, or in different environments. 
chaos and conflict is also being clarified by the six of wands so whatever this is you're gaining success over it you're coming out of this very successfully you're going to be gaining a lot of attention at this time maybe just because you're more attractive maybe because your energy is just shining people are drawn to that you could have a lot of people messaging you at this time or wanting to communicate with you or just watching you or it's just you being successful all right which is a very good energy you should be very proud of yourself for how you overcame a certain situation or how you cut ties with the situation i think that's very important to say what's this eight of cups what did, what did aquarius walk away from page of wands maybe somebody who's very immature maybe it was a maybe it was a, a fire or a water sign with a king of cups for some of you it really took a lot to gain some sort of emotional maturity to pull away from something that was just never ending. Even if it's just taking a break from something. The five of wands is chaos and conflict, right? So it's very fitting with the situation. Maybe some people are trying to trigger you. And kind of feeling like family or friends or something. Like people disagreeing with you. People who don't understand. Um, or people who might be just bringing up some arguments or whatever. Like page of wands is a messenger but it does come across sometimes as gossip um as you know people who just want the juice you know people who might be messaging you for the juice for the information what happened aquarius like i want to know like i'm here for you they're not they just want some gossip um king of cups is not even looking at them so in some ways this could be you staying on top of your emotions keeping yourself balanced and not letting the naysayers or the people who want some information to get to you so that's good um, if that's you, but for others of you, this could be coming from this water sign energy, okay? So, again, you're walking away, you're successful from it. I don't think that we even need to touch on that too much because you are already walking away from that and how it made you feel. So, that's good. Again, it is leading towards self discovery. So, the chaos and conflict on the outside is kind of initiating a chaos and conflict within you groundbreaking discoveries about yourself maybe you're breaking out of like negative ways of thinking about yourself and actually going actually the way i dealt with the situation or the way that i've been to certain people the way i am always have been dealing with situations has always been my best and that's all that i can do so you're kind of breaking out of a mold that maybe was put on you or whatever you know this is what i'm picking up on so then after this you go into this beautiful yin energy and yin is all about love it is kind of this nurturing energy of when you do what you love more love comes to you and more things that you love come to you too so you may be going on this kind of self-discovery of self-love it kind of looks like the ace of cups so this abundance of emotions now that you've got your emotions under wraps now that you're able to balance your emotions a bit more clearly move yourself away from things that are triggering those you're able to come to some sort of like equilibrium is what's coming up into my mind um for some of you like i'm feeling like for some reason the words that came to mind was like you're no longer making a loss like you're breaking even on something emotionally or out, or out of that maybe a message for some of you but it feels like emotionally you're, you're finally breaking even like you're no longer feeling at a loss emotionally you're no longer draining your emotions because of certain things that like you've moved, removed yourself from things that cause you to be at a loss so some of you may have to cut ties with certain things that may be draining you financially but it feels more emotionally um and because of this now you have time um or whatever to give more towards yourself and just like the ace of cups the more that we fill up our own cup the more that we can give out of the abundance of it not straight from the cup if anybody wants you to give to them straight out of what you should be giving to yourself that's a selfish person <laughs> like it's okay to be selfish and look after yourself because like i just don't think that's selfish i don't know why people feel like that but if anyone says that it is selfish then they are really selfish and they're projecting because how can you be so rude to want something from somebody that they actually need themselves you know that's a bit bit shameful shame on you <laughs> not you but whoever that is for um but anyways the yin card i'm a bit crazy in your reading and i don't know why it's just you're finally giving to yourself and you are going to realize that your own energy is going to be filling back up like but it feels more emotionally i just feel like you're going to feel more grateful for where you are even if it's not where you want to be because of this freedom that's coming that's what it feels like you're going to feel more like oh, you can finally just let this fill up by itself um, I can finally release, like, my worries around this certain situation. So let's clarify the yin card. The hanged man. 
you know, able to kind of step back a little bit and actually reflect and look at something here and gain enlightenment from it. A lot of you guys, maybe, again, there is some energy of self-discovery. You might be looking at yourself differently, looking at love differently, looking at life differently. And this is where this yin energy comes in. It's very divine feminine. And what that means is that you're more able to attract from an abundant place by feeling at an abundance, more abundance comes to you. So it's very similar. And this is what it feels like you're doing is that you're just kind of in the meantime, whilst you feel a little bit stuck in your circumstances, again, I don't feel like you're completely like where you want to be, but it's been worse. So I feel like you were in this place of like, I'm actually just okay sitting here and looking at the situation or you know, looking at what's to come and, and looking at it differently. You're feeling more positive. Maybe you saw the glass half empty in the past and now you're looking at it differently. Like your, your perspective is, is shifting, which is good. The Queen of Wands, like, that did come on the bottom of the deck, actually, as the um, Hanged Man came out, and I noticed it. And that's where I was saying that you might be looking at yourself differently, and I really do believe that. Like, you might be just feeling more appreciation for yourself. And again, that's where that narrative comes in of, like, actually, I have did my best, and actually, I am beautiful. And who ever told me that I wasn't, you know, I feel like your own confidence is going to be increasing at this time because of the love that you're finally able to give to yourself, you know which is beautiful, so it's good. You're in a very creative energy, which is nice. So do things that make you happy, like artsy things, creative things. Some of you may just want to get your hands dirty. I don't know if it's like actual gardening that I'm picking up on here, or it's just you have very beautiful energy when you're doing things that you love to do, and you will attract more abundance by doing that. You then have this observer card, which again is like, when am I going to be at this position that I want to be? The observer is looking into his future almost of where he wants to settle. And I apologize if you can hear the wind in the back. Um, the only thing about being here in my living room is that we're very high up and there's a lot of wind where we are. So that's just, that's just what you're going to hear in the background. But so the observer is like in his present moment, looking into the future as I'm serving, how am I going to get where I want to be? Um, it's a good thing to look at where you want to be, absolutely, but just remember that there is actually something in the present moment that's going to give you a blessing. Um, and even if it looks impossible, like the life that you want to live, maybe you're telling yourself, like, I'm like too old to do something, or too young to do something, or I don't have much experience, or whatever it is that you may think is a blockage, like this egg almost gives you something that you need to get to this moon. And it looks impossible, but I tell you, there is a card in the deck where you finally get there. So it, whatever it is, it's not impossible. But let's see. You're being called to think about your future a bit more. Maybe your you know path is changing, or maybe you feel like what you want is very different now that you've had these like epiphanies about yourself. What's the observer card here for, please? The, the foxes here means like strategy as well. We have the ace of wands. Now... That did come up with, you have a lot of options around you. On the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups. And the card that did come out as well before the Ace of Wands was the Five of Wands. So there's a lot going on. This is very similar to the Chaos and Conflict, but it's different because it's to do with your future. You may feel still a little bit like, how am I going to get there? These thoughts may, go, may be going round and round Aquarius for you. Like maybe it's a very highly competitive industry or maybe there is a lot of conflict around it. Like I don't know if I actually want that. Whatever it is, or maybe there's just a lot of options, ways to get where you want to go, or in general what the goal is. The Ace of Wands is there will be an idea that breaks through, like through this chaos, and and will call to you. So if it's not anything that's around you currently, don't force anything. Let it be. Again, you have an egg where you are in your present. So whatever it is that you're doing right now, may not look like much, but it will gift you something. Whether it's skills, abilities, or whatever. Maybe it's just an idea. Maybe you meet somebody by being present, you know, by looking what's around you. Somebody might stand out to you, or you might do something different as someone that communicates to you and is like, actually, like, you look like you do this for a living. And then they're like, you're like, whoa, I didn't even think about that. I would actually really love that. Or whatever. I just feel like don't go worrying yourself too much or put pressure on yourself. You don't need to pressure right now, Aquarius. I feel like you've been through enough already. Like you don't need pressure on yourself to do things in a certain way. Like appreciate where you are right now. But there will be an idea that does break free, like break through this five of wands and the seven uh, of cups here. Something will call out to you. Uh, and that will be the thing that is worth celebrating. Let's clarify the four of uh, wands. Seven of Pentacles, something that you've been working really, really hard on, feeling like you're not really going anywhere, might actually surprise you where it leads you. 
Uh, Seven of Pentacles sometimes is a very tiring card, right? It's like, I have put so much time, I have to reassess this now, like, it's a bit tedious, all right? It's like kind of waiting for the harvest, like, I'm sick and tired of nurturing something, giving my energy to it, but we, we do have here that it's going to pay off. Some of you may be passing a course, like, celebrating, passing a course of something, or again, it could be a business, whatever you've put a lot of energy into, you will get a payout from this, which is amazing and incredible. So... Let's get you, oh, one thing I want to mention to you, your key word for the week is blame. So we want to make sure that we're not blaming anyone or ourselves in any situation this week. The affirmation for this is, I accept responsibility for my well-being. So just remember that we are responsible for ourselves. So we can't blame anybody else for it and why our, why our life is the way it is. Of course, people may have blocked us, but, you know, what we can do now is move forward. All right, go blaming other people because you can still do something about it, even if it's been, if it's ruined things a bit for you. I understand. Been there, girl. Um, so I, I do get it. Um, but this says to make sure you're not blaming anybody. And also don't blame yourself. You can't blame yourself for the decisions that you made. Just accept responsibility for yourself now. And, and you got it. You got it. Let's get you some tea leaf tarot. Ooh. Very good. All right. For Aquarius, please. One more. Thank you. So we have rainbow. We love that. The most difficult part of the situation is over, which we saw that. So that's good. We have crown. This came through with moon. So this says honor and respect will come to you. And we have moon. Changes in your life. This is what's going to change. You're now up upping your standards you're cutting yourself away from things that are again not serving you or are causing chaos in your life and you're you're now in this position of being on the throne you're seeing yourself as this person so because of that you're now attracting in opportunities that also see you as that too you do have bread coming through which says period of prosperity and abundance but you do have peacock beware of great pride all righty well, Aquarius, I love you guys. I wish you all the best. I send you my love. Thank you so much for being here. If you would like to, make sure you subscribe. And also let me know how the reading resonated for you. I like to read the comments. Um, and also let me know what you think of my setup. But apart from that, I wish you guys well on your journey. And I hope to see you guys next time.